First, I'm going to uh, introduce uh, a little bit of my background. Uh, so HEVC is uh, the newest video coding standard that is introduced by ITU, uh, VCEG, and ISO. So uh, compared with the previous uh, encoding standard H.264, HEVC uh, decreases the bit rate by 50% uh, on average while maintaining the same uh, visual quality. So uh, it is, uh, HEVC is designed to achieve multiple goals and uh, uh, these are included improved coding efficiency means we uh, are going to spend less bits uh, with uh, greater or uh, equivalent quality. And uh, ease of uh, transport system integration means uh, we have to uh, con use this uh, uh, pro video encoding standard as a transporting uh, mechanism for video streaming and other usages of videos. Uh, data loss, it uh, also has data loss resilience. Uh, it can recover from uh, errors in the artifacts in the videos. Uh, also, it has the inherent uh, capability of uh, implementation uh, using parallel processing architectures. <clears throat> so, uh, with all these available tools and improvements in HEVC, uh, it uh, introduces uh, much more complexity compared to H.264, previous video encoding standard. Uh, some of the tools are ray distortion optimization, uh, RDOQ, intramodes. Uh, there are more intramodes introduced in this uh, encoding standard than the previous uh, H.264. Uh, SAO, quad tree structure, uh, which uh, multiplies at every level. Uh, as a result, uh, the traditional uh, uh, method which performs the encoding in sequential way uh, could uh, no longer provide a real uh, time demand uh, in this environment of 4K, 8K video streaming uh, environment. Uh, so it also uh, achieves the p purpose of parallelism uh, because now it provides the inherent capability that uh, different manufacturers can provide their parallelized architecture uh, in it. So uh, my uh, topic is about uh, specially intracoding, which is one of the tools that HEVC uh, provides, and it also improves uh, compared to the previous video encoding standard. Uh, HEVC intro, uh, intracoding, uh, it, so HEVC is actually uh, implemented quadri partition structures. Uh, the, uh, there, there are independent uh, uh, tree block concepts, uh, which includes coding unit, prediction unit, and trans transform unit. So intra-prediction modes particularly got more complex compared to H264. It has introduced 35 modes for Luma prediction, and there is uh, one special mode uh, for Chroma prediction. So the idea of uh, this is to introduce that how much uh, complexity it introduced compared to the previous version. So, uh, uh, so what motivates uh, uh, towards this work is that uh, for complexity constrained applications, uh, we uh, need to find alternative solutions that can actually reduce the complexity that this encoding standard uh, introduced. So uh, traditionally, uh, the complexity reduction schemes uh, we use to eliminate uh, a subset of long co coding modes. Now, coding modes is uh, uh, the, the, the mode which is finally uh, uh, decided, for example, which out of 35 uh, possible intramodes, which intramode this coding block is to be uh, coded. So in order to evaluate all these uh, coding, uh, in order to decide the final coding mode, uh, the standard actually has to evaluate all 35 possibilities by calculating over and over. <clears throat> so this is the complex part. 
So more decisions and more estimation embody the majority of encoding complexity. So this is the uh, part where we can actually try to reduce the complexity uh, in video encoding. So uh, machine learning uh, is uh, the idea that has already been tested uh, to reduce the complexity of uh, video encoding standards in previous uh, standards also. Uh, so it uh, reduces uh, the MB mode evaluation and mode selection to a classification problem. Uh, 